When you're plumbing a swimming pool, which is better, ball valves or diverter valves? This one's an easy one to answer because without a doubt, diverter valves are the best. And I think really the only reason you would question this at all is simply budget. Diverter valves are awfully expensive, uh, but I mean, if budgets weren't a thing, I would just use diverter valves exclusively. The problem is, is you know, budget is a thing for most people, uh, especially when you're installing a pool, you're already spending a ton of money. And when you upgrade the valves, like it's a big difference in cost between, a, you know, even a pretty decent ball valve and a diverter valve. And if you have three, five, 10, 20 valves on your system, boy, these costs are gonna add up really fast. In the world of ball valves, I see a lot of pool owners using non-union ball valves. So you just glue a pipe in one end, glue a pipe in the other, and that's it. I do not endorse using those valves. They're very difficult to turn the handle. I find they don't seal properly. And then eventually those handles will snap off because it's so hard to turn them. And then they're not serviceable. You know, it's just not something I recommend. If you were going to go the cheaper route, and use ball valves versus diverter valves, I recommend at minimum to have a single union on your ball valve. And you know, there's only a few brands that I would recommend, uh, like Prayer or Spears are ones that I would recommend. There's a half dozen out there that I don't recommend because I've never heard of them, so I can't recommend them to you. But I find if there's a single union, it's usually like, it's usually at least a usable valve. Those non-union valves, I find that they're not really even functional properly, so I, I just avoid them entirely. If you have two unions or a true union ball valve, that's actually a pretty good valve. They're pretty expensive as well. And, you know, situationally, they can be pretty good, but they're probably not as good as a diverter valve. I think I would take a diverter valve every chance I could if everything were free. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.